Yo, what's good? All right, all right. We're into the mind, the mind of Jeff Carroll, the writer, which is crazy. I don't even like to say it because I'm very humble. If you meet me, you're probably not going to hear everything about me unless you ask. But when you click on this blog or video, or whatever the heck it is, you are going to get my expression through the Sci-Fi Express Lane. So thank you for tuning in to this Sci-Fi Express Lane where uh, for the last two episodes, this third one, we're going into the mind of Jeff Carroll, the writer, and particularly this story that everybody, when I hit, tell them the name, they're like, oh my God, what the heck is this stupid stuff you think of? How do you think of all these ideas? Blah, 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 blah. I can't tell you how I think of all the ideas, but one thing I did learn how to do was to shape them into entertaining stories. And this story is very entertaining. Um, it's featured in my current Kickstarter project, Cyber Funk Streets, and um, it's called The Ass Doctor. Holy moly, let me say the name again. I'm gonna slow it down, because you probably didn't think you heard it correctly, but it's called The Ass Doctor. The Ass Doctor. Um, so, you know, set in the futuristic cyber world, um, cyber funk world, and um, when it's uh, plastic surgery, cosmetic surgery is normalized, and um, plastic surgeons are common. They're the rock stars, you know what I'm saying? And um, it's beyond just can you perform an open heart surgery, can you save my life? Can you improve my life? Can you cosmetize my life, right? That's not a word, but I know you understand what I'm saying. So, you know, think of, of breasts and booty implants and, and pecs and calves and all those things that, that people get, not just women, but men as well. Uh, this story is an extension of my very early working experience when uh, my first job after I graduated college, like most college students, was not in my major. However, probably like many college students, you kind of could have flipped it, you know, um, and made something out of it. I worked for a, a clothing store in the mall that sold jeans and, you know, to men and women. And a um, 23-year-old young, 23 young man, I was thrust into selling jeans to women. See, like men, when they come in and buy jeans, it's like, yo, you got, you know, um, 34 by 34 waist length. Yeah, all right, I'll take, I'll, I'll take those. What color? We good, and they're out. Um, women, they do a whole nother thing, and I didn't really understand it because I'm an only child that didn't have sisters. But um, women, you know, do uh, what do you call it? They um. They uh, uh, get into how the jeans not only fit, okay, that's what we hear on the outside, but they go into the mirrors, they bring in friends, and they ask the friends, how does this jean, how do these jeans make my ass look? Now, do they still do that? I don't know. I started working in 1990, so I'm going to date myself. That was 32 years ago. Holy moly, it sounds like crazy. It was before we, we had stretch jeans, we had Jordache jeans, and they were like pretty much jeggings. They didn't shape you, they just revealed your shape. Um, so in the evolution, we got jeans that pulled in certain areas and weren't pulling in certain other areas, and they fit in the cut. So yeah, this whole jean ass uh, um, has progressed, right? Um, and um, I have been like master, what is his name? Uh, Mixmaster Ice in California, you know, who did the, uh, uh, I like big butts and I cannot lie. I am a uh, observer over the years, right? I've been a, a, a appreciator uh, of, of the female physique since middle school, right? And, and I learned how to control it, so now it's all good. But maybe in middle school, I couldn't express my interests so well, like most little boys. Anyway, um, 
I got the story from that energy. Maybe that seed was planted in me. And as um, booty implants started to take off, I got the inspiration for this story. And um, I had a friend of mine, well, actually a couple of friends get in, um, booty implants. I mean, we watched Kay Michelle get hers and, and various other people have them. And they may not have been that good. Um, I think, you know, with the Kim Kardashian controversy, where she got whatever, I don't know. I mean, I believe she got some some help, um, but people was like, yo, I want the Kim Kardashian, but I remember going into uh, adult stores, uh, trying to sell my book, The Hip Hop Dating Guide, and I saw blow up dolls that were not J-Lo, but J-Ho. And I'm sorry to put the company's brand out there, um, but I was amazed that, yo, you know, this was desirable, but that was really marketed towards men. And th so I didn't really, it didn't really hit me. Then I started seeing um, uh, this body shaping underwear, right? And I should have Googled it so I would know, but um, my wife and I went into a store and they had some body shaping underwear and I made one of my weird Jeff jokes about, you know, oh my God, can I get underwear like Kim Kardashian? And the lady laughed and she said, yo, you don't laugh. This is a, 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 a South American woman who was curvy, you know, so she's in the conversation. And she said, nah, they do have that. They do have underwear, body shaping, contouring, panty shaping underwear. And, and, and mind you, she's from South America. So South America has a whole nother energy towards um, women appreciating their bodies and stuff like that. And they, you know, you got, you got Brazil, is, you know, where butt lifts are already been normal. You know what I'm saying? Let's not talk about breast implants. They've been normalized for a couple of decades. Now the butts have been normalized. And she was like, nah, these women come in here and it's funny because they want the uh, Kim Kardashian physique right they want the kim kardashian butt and you know it's only so much that that the underwear can do and she said not to mention you know the fat gotta go somewhere so you know you're pushing your fat all around and you end up with you know big shoulders you know uh, a, a a big upper body you know um maybe legs or maybe a really big bigger booty than you probably probably wanted to have. However, it's an, a, a writer's field day. So I was like, man, this is amazing. I have to write this as a story. So that those seeds, right, the conversation with the lady at the mall about the underwear, me working at the, um, um, the jean store, and then really talking to my friends that are, um, have gotten these um, uh, uh, um, procedures done on them has has um, really you know allowed me to see things different than just seeing them as a as a guy. You know, my wife, you know, isn't you know into any of that. Um, I don't know what else to say politically correctly, but she's happy with what she has. Um, well, she's blessed, however you want to look at it. Um, but you know, because I don't really look down at my friends who do it. However, um, one of my friends, uh, not, I wouldn't even say she's a friend, she's just a person I knew, an acquaintance. Um, when she got it, I I was like, dang, you know, um, she really, cause she's an overly makeup person. She doesn't seem like she has a really powerful self-esteem. However, um, she's a pretty face girl who, um, has a nice personality, you know? Um, and I think even that she needs to contain a little bit because she can be nicer than she has been to some of the guys that she dated. But she went and got the butt implant and I was like, ah, oh, man. You know, it's like um, a lot of women, and I say women because there may be men that do it too, but I'm just talking about the women. A lot of women love to buy things. And I think we're this type of culture rather than do the stomach crunches, 
rather than do the meditation, right? Rather than solve our inner problems, we want to cover it up with external stuff. And as much as I'm a booty lover, whoo, man, as much as I focus on that part of the anatomy, I may have dated, right? I may have dated like one or two girls that really had, um, all right, let's say three, because the number's going up in my head. But out of, you know, 40, 50, you know, girlfriends and friends that I've had, yo, the booty count isn't even at 50%. Um, not that I couldn't focus more on it, right? Um, I was really into personality. Now, of course, you still had to be visually appealing to me, but I wasn't just after body parts, you know? And um, a, a lot of uh, women who get these procedures, like my one uh, acquaintance, I say friend because I think she even unfriended me on Facebook. Um, and that, I don't know if that determines whether you'll say hello to me in public or not. And we're really not friends. But um, in regards to her, man, yo, the nails, the makeup, none of that is really going to raise your stock value with dudes. Your purse, your whatever it is that you get, right? It's going to hold, it may catch somebody's eye. But if you don't do the work on the interior, you know, the exterior is just superficial. You know, I know for me, yeah, you may say, all right, he dated nice looking women, but they, you know, everybody ain't nice looking to everybody and they're not the only, they're not the nicest, I don't know, I'm not gonna diss them, but they weren't the only nice looking women, right, that I knew. And some of the women that I might even thought were the nicest appearance, right, like body for days, pretty face, drop dead, God dog. I, I might not even have found them attractive because their personality wasn't there. So I'm not gonna go in too deep, but this is the mindset of me as the writer. So um, the ass doctor is set within this world of cosmetic surgery where women feel and people feel a certain way that they feel these procedures will help them uh, become more appealing, right? Nobody, I don't know too many people unless you had a car accident or, you know, health concern. I don't know, but it may be, you know, with breast cancer, I need to get another breast to make my body feel comfortable again. I don't know. We're, we're, I'm not talking about, you know, needed surgery. I'm talking about cosmetic surgery. And in the cosmetic surgery com conversation, you know, this is not necessary. These are cosmetics. So this is exterior. Um, so anyway, the ass doctor came to me from that. And it's a story about a dude who feels down. He's a, a cosmetic surgeon that can't get girls. And um, his friend says, why don't you, you know, get into performing booty and breasts? And he's like, you know what? I'll do that. And it changes his world so much that um, it, it begs the uh, 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 saying similar to what Biggie used to say, you know, more money, more problems. Um, his not even as much money. Sometimes it's like King Midas. You get what you want, you wish for, and it's, it's not even the blessing that you think it is. So um, this story explores the future of that. I think there's going to be Louis Vuitton asses, there's going to be Gucci asses, Michael Kors got a new breast girl, you better get those Michael Kors breasts or the, or the doctors may become such rock stars, they be like, you know who did my ass, the ass doctor, okay, he did my ass, we'll be like, oh my god, your ass looks so nice, where did you get your ass done, you better call the ass doctor, okay, because he gave me my ass, and he does it right, girl. He, I brought in a picture of, oh, who got a nice ass? A uh, Megan Good. He gave me a Megan, made it, my ass look better than Megan Good's ass. Okay, all right? So anyway, um, that's a little bit in my mind. Thank you for checking me out in the Sci-Fi Express lane. Uh, Cyber Funk Streets is Cyber Funk, and it's also Afrofuturism. 
and um, it's on Kickstarter right now. So the links are below. Like and subscribe to my videos. I'm talking about Cyberfunk Streets. Um, I'd love to hear from you, so make some comments. And, um, oh, shoot, I forgot to shout out. I'm going to shout out the artist, but the artist for this one, I forgot to shout out the other artist, but the artist for this one is named Joey Martinez. He's out of Orlando, Florida. Shout out to Joey, you my man, and he did a lot of pinups for me of some of the other, for the other stories. But anyway, yo, you got to check out the Ass Doctor in Cyberfunk Streets. It's amazing. Help me make this comic or help make this comic. Yo, it's real deal, dude.